Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I was going to do an informational video for you guys on aging betas. So Makito here is now three years old. He is turning four this year. Um, so he is pretty old for a beta. Betas can actually live um, five to ten years if you take really, really good care of them and put them in the proper environment. So I thought I would give some advice on how to take care of an aging beta and what to look for and how to help your beta if he or she is old. So first off, when your beta gets old, they will start to develop age spots. Um, there are these little white spots that your beta will get on their scales that kind of look like ick, but they are not ick. I promise, um, I don't know if you can see it on Makito here. Oh, let me see. He won't let me see where his spots are. They will actually, um, see, you can see it right there on his belly. There's a white spot and down there on his, um, uh, what, not his dorsal fin, his, um, other fin. I can't remember the proper name. Oh my goodness. My mind went blank. There are some white spots and those are from aging. They are called age spots. Betas do get them. And they're just little white spots that pop up and sometimes they will disappear and then reappear on your beta. So if you do see them on your beta, don't be alarmed. It is not ick. It is just signs of your beta getting old. Um, also, when your beta starts to age, they will lose color in their skin. Well, technically, it's not really skin. You can call it skin, but their scales will start to lose color. Lucky toe. Come here. He won't come here, but he went back to his log. Um, but as you could see with Makito, his, his scales are actually still pretty bright. There, come here, Makito. Come here. Come on. See, he is still very purple. Um, but that is actually a good thing because the reason he is so purple and still very vibrant is because of the food that I feed him. If you don't feed your beta very good food and they do age, they will lose pigment in their scales and will turn really dull colors like a, a grayish color. And yeah, you can see his spots there on his tail again. Um, they will turn gray or um, just faded color like almost white depending on what color your beta is but because Makito gets good food he has not lost any pigmentation in his scales um if you haven't seen my video on what to feed your beta definitely check that out because that will help you determine what kinds of foods are good for your beta and I did not show this in my last video because this is a brand new brand of food that I got here it is called beta crumblies, and this is actually um, insects. And these are very good for your beta, so I highly recommend getting these. They are just basically insects, because that's what betas eat in the wild. So this is a very good brand, and it's a brand new brand of food. So your beta could definitely use this in their diet because it's very high in protein. So I would recommend this for other foods that you can feed your beta. Now, also, um, when they age, <laughs> my chair just popped out of there, it's funny. Um, when they age, they will slow down and want to sleep a lot. Makito has been sleeping a lot more than he usually does. Usually he's pretty active. He likes to interact with me and play, and he has no interest in playing anymore, um, which really makes me sad, but 
you know, it's okay. As long as he's happy, it's all I care about. So they will slow down and just want to sleep a lot. So you're going to want to provide them with a lot of resting areas for them to sleep on. As you can see, I got this plant in here for him to sleep in. And he also has that big old log he likes to sleep in back there. As you can see, he's in there right now, chilling in his log. And he also has this one down here for him if he wants to rest at the bottom. But he likes to rest at the top. And usually when they're old like that, they will rest at the top of the surface because they require to get more air through their lungs because they're taking up a lot and they're not doing a lot more movement as they usually are. So they have to breathe more frequently, as you can see. Um, so they definitely need a plant or a floating log like that to help them sleep closer to the surface and their appetite will also decrease with the old age so if your bait is not eating as much as they used to then don't worry it's just him or her slowing down with their old age he doesn't eat nearly as much as he used to he used to eat like a like a hog man he would eat anything and everything i throw in there but lately he sees the food, he eats it, and then goes back to sleeping. So that's very unusual for him. He normally is very active and doesn't do that, but he just wants to sleep all the time now. He's probably going to go back in his log. Yep. That's where he goes. He likes to sleep in there. There he goes. Yeah. He's been sleeping in there nonstop, just, just chilling out. Which makes me kind of sad, but he's still very healthy and happy, so that's all I care about. And yeah, so you definitely want to um, watch what you're feeding your beta when they um, start to slow down like that and don't want to eat as much because of their appetite decreases with age. And also their metabolism slows down so when their metabolism slows down they do not want to eat as much so they don't need as much food to keep their energy going and that's another reason you want to make sure you have plants and things for them to rest on because their metabolism isn't processing enough energy for them to you know swim and do things like they used to so they kind of just want to lay around and if they don't um, process that food that you have given them from laying down that can make them get sick and get bloat and other illnesses and you do not want that for your beta if he is old he or she sorry I just say he because mine mine's a boy um, you also want to make sure you decrease the temperature in your heater if you can see my heaters right here my old heater actually went out for some reason I've had it for a long time in this tank and the temperature went down to 62 and that is bad for betas as it is because they love warmer climates because they're tropical fish so Makito was acting very lethargic and that's not a good sign so I replaced the heater and I was able to increase the temperature up to 79 degrees. So with that, it helps with them not being cold because they get colder as they get older because they, like I said with the metabolism, they cannot process as much. So they need more heat to keep them warmer because when you're old, you know, even for old people, elderly people, they need to keep warm you know in the winter and the colder months they they need to keep warm so you got to make sure to keep them warm or they can get sick and you don't want that you know you don't want them to get sick and die so that is always good to have and let me think the last thing you're going to want to know about an aging beta is 
a lot of times if your beta is old, they will develop cataracts in their eyes. Makito has not developed cataracts, thank goodness. But if your beta does get cataracts, you're going to want to make sure that you are able to hand feed your beta so that they can find their food. Because if they're not able to find their food, they're not going to be able to eat and they can get sick and die, obviously. So I would recommend getting a syringe or an eyedropper or tweezers that you can put into the tank and hold it above your beta's um, mouth and and head so that your beta can find the food and eat it because you do not want your fish to not be able to eat especially if you plan on having your beta for a long time and betas do not like a lot of light like right now my tank is very bright right now but um, that can also contribute to your beta's getting cataracts because if your tank light is too bright their their eyes will go upwards to look for food so that they they will see that bright light and it can blind them so you want to make sure your tank light is not that bright mine is just bright right now because I wanted to be able to film this video um as you can see Makito is still sleeping um in his log he hasn't come back out um but uh I do actually put a thing over my, um, you can see my light up here. I actually do cover that so that it doesn't, it's not as bright. So for video purposes, I am, I took that piece of thing that I cover it with. I usually put a piece of um, paper or something to cover it so that it doesn't, it's not as bright. So definitely dim your brightness for your beta even if they're not old just because you do not want it to develop cataracts so that is also a good idea but when they're older you definitely don't want to hurt their eyes even more by having a bright light in your tank so that is everything you need to know about caring for an aging beta or things you need to know about having an older beta. Oh, oh, wait, wait. Oh, hold on. Hold on a sec. I forgot one more thing. Older betas do not normally make bubble nests. So when you see your beta does not make bubble nests as much as they used to, don't be alarmed. They're not sick or anything. This is actually from them maturing from when they were a lot more younger. They actually do not have as much testosterone in their bodies, so they no longer want to build bubble nests. But some still will. Um, Makito still does. You can see some of those bubbles up there he had made but he hasn't made an official nest but he he has he's been trying as you can see he's kind of scattering them around a bit um he always makes them no matter what so because that's also a sign that your beta is healthy so you know that's always good to have if your beta makes them but if they don't it's it's completely fine so you don't have to worry so, yeah, that should cover everything. I'm pretty sure I covered everything that needs to be known. And I hope this video was very useful for anyone who owns a beta or an older beta. Hi, Makito. Um, I really hope that it helps and that you get to have many happy ears with your beta like I have. I can't wait till he turns four and he's going to have a little birthday party. So, <laughs> yes, my beta has birthday parties <laughs> and he gets Christmas presents and he's just spoiled. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, thank you guys so much for watching 
and I really do hope you enjoyed this video and you found it useful. And if you're new here, please feel free to hit that subscribe button and hit the thumbs up if you like more videos like these. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!